this fragrance is a 10 out of 10 for me Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bella and this is Bella's Perfume Diaries. If this is your first time of stumbling on this channel, Perfume Diaries is a series where we talk about perfumes, a sprinkle of beauty and lifestyle. So if this is the kind of content you like, please click that subscribe button and join the family. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in once again. On today's episode, I'm going to be talking about Linterdit Rouge by the House of Givenchy. So if you want to know my thoughts on this fragrance, then keep watching. So I'm going to be starting with the packaging. This is what the packaging looks like. It comes in this red pack, the name Linterdit Givenchy Eau de Parfum Rouge. This is the third flanker from the Linterdit line. This bottle is my favorite thing about this fragrance. Hmm. This fragrance is a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm going to be doing a video talking about my best designer fragrances that are 10 out of 10 for me. But this fragrance is one of it. Now let's know what this fragrance actually smells like. So the main accords of Linterdit Rouge are warm, spicy, white, floral, woody, tuberous, citrus, patchouli, earthy, powdery, and animalic. So the fragrance is described as an amber floral fragrance for women. The top notes are ginger and blood orange. Middle notes are tuberose, jasmine, and pimento leaf. While the base notes are sandalwood, patchouli, and vetiver. So when you spray this fragrance, it opens up with a spicy ginger and blood orange. And then the florals start to come in. That's that jasmine, the tuberose, more like this bubblegum tuberose. It kind of makes it like an orange floral scent i really love how the floral settles and blends in this fragrance so it makes it smell very mature very grown very sexy and then it starts to settle into this creamy sandalwood and patchouli this fragrance is quite heavy on the patchouli and i really love that about it and the sandalwood in it blends perfectly with that patchouli to give it this creamy woodiness so that patchouli in it gives it a bit more character it adds this kick to the fragrance so i'll describe this fragrance as a warm spicy orange floral scent with some creamy woodiness and patchouli just like i mentioned this fragrance is a 10 out of 10 if you're looking for a 10 out of 10 designer perfume that will not disappoint i will tick all the boxes for you in terms of longevity projection the sexiness of the fragrance compliments getting this fragrance is perfect for you. To me, it is very classy and sophisticated. It doesn't really smell like a designer perfume. It smells very rich and elevated. My favorite part of this fragrance is in the mid. The way the florals just mix it together with that blood orange just gives it a very unique and very sensual floral scent. This fragrance has heavy projection with minimum of 12 hours longevity. I love the fact that it projects amazingly and it really lasts long so it just ticks all the boxes for you i would describe the person that wears this fragrance as a sexy feminine boss lady so if you want to smell like a sexy feminine boss lady get your hands on winter this rouge by the house of Givenchy. so have you tried this fragrance let me know in the comment section what you think about it have you tried any of the flankers from the winter this line let me know in the comment section as well let me know which one is your favorite from all the flankers unfortunately we've come to the end of this episode don't forget to like this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't drop your sense of the day in the comment section i would love to connect with you in the comment section Thank you guys for tuning into Bella's Perfume Diaries. I'll be seeing you on my next episode. Bye.